Look, I'm in my super secret spy suit now. Ah, uh, that means you have Even a cup Even though I was wearing on, right? regular clothes before. That means you're in a cup. I can kick you all I want now. Whack. Oh. Ah, my balls. Wow. I don't know what else should be part of the background. What? Mexican yell. Mexican yell, chum. <laughs> Dude, what if Mexican yell just showed up right now? What if... <laughs> what it's mean? literally male Yale that got transformed into a Mexican as like a prototype. Everywhere. And he just Everywhere says, I go, I see his face. Because <laughs> every time he died, I get the feeling. No, I was thinking like the fucking Spider-Man meme. <laughs> it's just like a Mexican yell on the side of the building. <laughs> it's like everywhere I go, I see his face. These hallways go on forever. Just how big is this place? All these hallways look the same too. It feels like I'm going in circles. Thought boxes was just a competitor, but an extreme under, but an extensive underground lair. This must have cost billions, if Million. not millions. What the hell are they up to down here? Wouldn't you like to know? You computerized bastard. Do you know how long it took me to get out of that basement? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've just a computer monitor on a fucking wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> no, the transformation gas didn't work on me. I just walked away. Oh, right. I'm thinking of the other guy. There was another guy? I don't Who know. Who was the other guy? I don't know. We'll find it out one day. But I guess. It doesn't matter anyway. Natalia... Take care of this pest. Well, well, well. If it isn't Russell, my piece of shit farmer manager. Natalia, I had a feeling you'd be involved with all this. Are you wearing a spy outfit? You do realize how stupid you look, right? It's cool! It's a great outfit! Whatever. Take him out. Affirmative. What are you gonna do? Fight me or something? Aside from the hips department, I'm like twice your size. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. Hmm. Well, I guess I better change into my demon form and use my literal 200 years of built up sexual tension energy to just blast you into oblivion. Just remember? Remember this form? I showed it like twice. Yeah. Ah. It's her final form. Ah. Magnificent. What? You losers at Abadabadabadon are absolutely pathetic. You have unlimited potential at your fingertips, and yet you waste your funding on stupid developments like breast expansion and giving net beers cat ears doing a service to society it's a miracle you're still in business you're so focused on the little things you just can't see the big picture but here at boxers the director has some vision using your research on the genetic on the gick i was able to obtain enhanced strength the ability to run at superhuman speed and super sensitive hearing i didn't have to turn myself into furry freak either that puts all of your research to shame. So what? You transformed yourself into a sex demon? No, I was always like, I mean, yep, with this farm, I have all the abilities of any of those furry losers with the added bonus of having a significantly boosted sex drive. When I'm like this, every moment is pure ecstasy. Wait, turning into a sex demon makes you even hornier than normal? How Where is that even possible? Where can I get some of that? <laughs> We've heard the term suck you bay. Thank you very much. Now, Wessel, prepare to have your ass kicked. <laughs> I went to the nerd voice for a second. There. There's no way those silly horns give you special abilities. You're bluffing. You should have been. You should have paid more attention to Dinah there, Russell. We should have. Am I? Whack. Oh, wow. Oof. I can see your thong. You can. Oof. 
Oh. What was that about bluffing? That really hurts. Of course it did. I'm twice as strong as a regular human, and my abilities are boosted by my sex drive. The hornier I am, the more powerful my kicks are. Why is this a thing? Why does this have to be the thing? I don't know. It could have been so many other things. Ugh. See how powerful your research is in the hands of someone with vision? I am practically a god. But what is a god to a non-believer? Still a god, punk ass. Dab. <laughs> Still a god, punk ass bitch. Like, no. it doesn't mean any... Fuck. God is fake. Okay, okay, this is a holy story. I'm gonna cuck you. Hey, look, I just kicked you with the fucking gut. I'm a god. Tisk. I might not be able to defeat you in my current form, but luckily I had this sweet spy armor to protect me from your kick. Also this. This I think bitch is going down. It's either we fight fire with fire, we turn into Dinah, or we turn into <laughs> Sara. <laughs> I know you want to, and I was going to say. I don't think we should, though. We should do it. We should do it just. We'll do it just for the episode. Return to the Jack. Return to Jack. Let's turn to Dino. Let's like tentacle as a bitch. Ah. You might have superhuman strength, but now I've got all the grace and agility of an octopus. <laughs> I'm a furry. I think yeah, we're fighting on even terms now. I mean, you have a security system of tentacles. Can you break yeah. your own security system, Natalia? That's a good question. What? You think I'm scared of few tentacles? Bring it on. Tentacle powers activate. Wait, what? That's ac what? You were serious? Ah. Squirm all you like. You're not going anywhere. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, fuck, that was a mistake. <laughs> They're so slimy. No, we gotta, we gotta, like, Hold jack her off. Tightly. This is kind of turning me on a little bit. Really? That's kind of gross. You freak. And when I get turned on, I become even more powerful. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. No! Now I'm free to oh, kick your arms again. Sad. And this time I'm even more powerful than before. Uh-oh. You get to see Dina get kicked? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Natalia. Huh? Ah, my eyes! <laughs> just for Sprinter. <laughs> Ha, eat knife. <laughs> uh, Nadine, how did you get free? I don't want to talk about it. Where's the rest of your clothing? What did I just fucking say? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to... She just got, she just got destroyed. <laughs> I'm not going to order pizza. I'm just going to make some frozen pizza. Whatever. Where did you get pepper spray from? I always carry some with around with me just in case. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> really? You had pepper spray with you the whole time? Yep. Why didn't you tell me earlier that could have come in handy so many times tonight? <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved me in the end, like usual. The pain. The pain. I'll always be here to back you up, sweetie. Now, come on. The inner sanctum is just through here. It's time to find out what those bastards are up. It's it's just, it's going to be a fucking penguin in a chair. It's going to be. It's going to be a it's fish. Gonna be, it's going to be some fucking goddamn, like, self-insert avatar. Probably. This is going to be the computer. It's no one. It was the, the real <laughs> the real enemy was the friends we made along the way. Oh god. Huh? 
There's a lot of computers here. What's up with that weird pestle over there? Looks like some futuristic sci-fi scanner or something. I don't know what I was expecting. Metal it gear. wasn't this. Metal Gear. Just what on worth? What what on worth? What on earth are they up to down here? What on worth? Who this? Well, well, well. It seems like you found me. She's adorable. I love it. Can I keep it? No. Please? She's evil. Yeah, but she's so cute. Not as cute as Dan. If you take her, you give up Dan. That's Fuck, how evil that's how evil like that's that? how evil go. Why you gotta do me like that? I'm sorry. She's so cute. It's the trope. Also her hair is ugly. Considering you've come this far, I feel I should introduce myself. I'm Victoria Boxers, director of Boxers Incorporated. Welcome to my secret lair. You turn yourself into a cute little girl? No, I've always looked like this. Really? I always imagined the director to be some old dude with an eye patch who spends most of his time sitting in a recliner laughing maniacally at a bunch of monitors all day. I had pretty much the same mental image, except instead of an eye patch, he had a big disfiguring scar. Oh yeah, I can see that. Well, I'm neither of things. I'm neither of things. Weird. <laughs> It's not weird. It's a little weird. So is this the part where you gloat over us and tell us your evil plan? No, this is the part where she kills us. What? Of course not. Why would I do that? This is the part where I call the cops and have you arrested for trespassing. Well, she's got us there. You tried to use transformation gas to turn me into a big-breasted slut. Oh, really? You're gonna call the cops here? Let me just pick you up and start spanking you like a little bitch you are. <laughs> Got any proof of that? Plus, if I remember correctly, you were the one who broke into our offices overnight. You'd be the one finding yourself in hot water, not me. I've got no reason to speak to you. Hey... Calm down, honey. I've got this. Ugh. What are you doing? Oh. Tell me what you're up to. <laughs> Put me down. I'm scared. Not until you tell me what you're up to. These tentacles are so slimy. You're squeezing me really hard. I reverted back to a little girl. Tell me your plan and I'll stop right this second. Fine, fine, I'll talk. Uh, wow, 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 wow. No need to get so violent. Talk. We're developing a video game. Huh? <laughs> the real villain were the creators of Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme all along. <laughs> well, as you're probably aware, Boxers Incorporated has acquired the means to transform people to far improved versions of themselves, such as the Succubay Farm game, that little sex spot, Natalia. And you're only able to do that because of research you stole from both us and DNL Laboratories. I've got proof of your hack there too, and I'm prepared to hand it over to a court of law if need be. Yeah, because handing over evidence of a so-called hack worked so well for you last time. Even more furry noises from the Dean. <laughs> Anyway, Whoa. after transforming people using her technology. <laughs> Shut up, Nadine. Let her fucking explain. God damn it. Dabba, 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 on technology and you know it. Thank you. Let me finish. God. As I was saying, 
once we transform people, we can scan them using our reverse engineered 3D printer over there, which generates highly, <laughs> which generates hyper detailed 3D models of our actors that we can use in our video game, saving millions of dollars in hiring computer graphics engineers. What are the odds you stole that scanner from someone else too? What the fuck? Oh, go Goku! Go yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. Oh man, the director's got a vision. He's gonna make a video game. <laughs> He's gonna make the greatest <laughs> MMORPG ever. Because it is the most hyper-realistic MMORPG ever. Wait, it and we have a cast of actors who are the perfect copy of their in-game forms we could use to provide it, promote it. It'll be monsters, please, successful. A succubate girl is just the beginning. We've already put out casting calls for dried girls. Big sexy minotaur guys. There's a sexy mermaid expansion pack already in development. <laughs> so what? You're planning on releasing this video game to the public, becoming super popular and developing a massive fan base. And the second you hit a million players, you flip a switch and trap everyone inside your video game world. That's sick and wrong. Why does everyone always assume that? For the millionth time. No, we're not making a giant laser beam. I mean, trapping our people into the giant MMO. When did this game come out? <laughs> a few years ago? Yeah, but like when? <laughs> was this like... I want to know if this was like... If this came out like directly after Sword Art Online came out. <laughs> Uh, because what? that would make this make, like, so much sense. Uh, one sec. Fucking new, uh, Steam thing is really hard to, uh, yeah, go to so my strange. hidden games. Go to my secret stash of games. Including Gender Bendo, DNA, Twister Extreme. <laughs> Store page. Release date in the 2014. 2014? So probably. Yeah, I think Sword Art Online was like 2012. Let's see what Google says. Uh, December 31st. Oh, that was the extra edition. I mean, the novel aired, series. Aired in Japan. Yeah, aired in Japan between July and December 2012. Yeah, so it's a few years after. Yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, it's been fucking seven years. SAO was seven years ago. <laughs> and we still hate it. Yeah, I don't hate it. I hate it. Why do you hate it? Because you well, you hate everything, so go internet, fuck yourself. The internet told me to hate it. <laughs> the internet told me to hate it. <laughs> also, I do indeed hate everything. He hates everything. It becomes, like, semi-popular because that's what's cool to do is to hate the popular thing. I hate people that hate things because it's popular. It's popular to hate people who hate popular things. <laughs> hate. Life is pain. I hate. Life is pain. All right, they're not trapping people in the MMO. It's stupid. It makes no sense. How on earth would you make money from doing that? And what's the point of trapping people in the first place? It's bloody ridiculous, if you ask me. So, you're just making a regular video game, then? The most technologically advanced game that's ever been created, yes. Oh. We're going to make billions. With recurring monthly subscription fees, paid DLC packs, cosmetic skin upgrades, a new expansion pack every six months, convention appearances. I can just smell the money now. So it's just EA. The, the villain is EA. Well, that's all well and good, but why all the secrecy and traps? And more importantly, why on earth did you spend millions of dollars constructing an underground lair? Have you not heard of renting an office? Hell, there's a deluxe mid-size office just across the street from us. 
isn't it obvious? Creating games of this scale takes a massive investment of time and money. We had to ensure that no one was going to copy us and beat us to the punch. Punch. Like you trying to steal our electric boobaloo research? That's a dumb name. Anyways, yes, that's exactly <laughs> why I had to lay a trap to make sure you weren't on to us. Sadly, it backfired, and here we are now. So why are you 12 stories underground? Oh, that one's easy to explain. Ever since we moved our IT department to the basement, found their production has steadily increased. It seemed that being in these underground environments made them work harder. <laughs> Following experimentation <laughs> with a parking structure, we found out that the ideal depth for maximum coding efficiency is 12 stories underground. The deeper you are, the harder those little nerds work. <laughs> Why is this a thing? And there was a loophole in our agreement with the mall, so we were legally allowed to build this structure. Plus, being underground makes it much tougher for intruders to sneak in and steal our ideas, eh? Well, it fucking mm -hmm. sucks. Did stop us. I guess you're going to take us to court and try to sue us now for stealing your technology again. I wasn't expecting another legal battle so soon, but it's nothing new. I'll walk away from the sunscape, just like last time. Oh no. We're not going to court this time. We're not. What? Huh? What? I think you're on to something here. This game of yours will make billions, but the thing is, if you're using our geek technology for all your actors, if we wanted to, we could have you shut down this second. However, I think we can come to an agreement that benefits both parties. Oh? Okay. We're at the pool now. For, forcing boxers to pay a licensing fee for us for, for use of our technology was a stroke of genius. I know, right? Now we pull 30% of their game revenue, and we don't have to lift a finger. I'm actually glad they stole our technology. Now we're richer than ever. And you got awesome shape-shifting powers. That's right, Nadine. I do have awesome shape-shifting powers. I didn't really do that, that much. I just used some kung fu and sprayed my chew at them. You did. <laughs> you did use your kung fu. <laughs> You're my kung fu, as it were. <laughs> Although, admittedly, earlier on in our relationship, I was planning on being a good husband. Things kind of got a bit turned around along the way. No, I'm not complaining. We're making this work. Damn right we are. Now, if well, you just stop calling me stupid. A whole fuck day to happy. ourselves. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'll get some margaritas. No, not that you fucking asshole. You know what I want. <laughs> she wants me to have to censor this shit one more time before the episode ends. Is this form better? Oh yeah, much better. A dirty whore. I'd foiled Boxer's plans, made the company a ton of money, acquired awesome shape-shifting powers, and discovered a secret swimming pool nobody at the company knew about. All in all, I'd say it was a pretty good day. I had a feeling this wouldn't be the end of the rivalry between our two companies. We had the upper hand, but I wouldn't trust Boxer's as far as I could throw him, which is admittedly pretty far because she was a tiny little girl. Yeah, but you're fucking out of weight, like... That being said, <laughs> Victoria was pretty small. <laughs> Probably could throw her quite a long way. Okay, he said he had to use Dinah for this. It was something I could worry about another day. Right now, I had a super hot wife and a pool all to ourselves. I couldn't be happier. Well, I wish Nadine would tone the self cess down a bit. Never. It's Sunday. Ending one of one. Oh, wow, there was literally only one ending. There was one ending. All right, well, you know who's next.
part one of the exciting finale. <laughs> no! You idiot. <laughs> Oh, whoa. It shouldn't be this? that long. Alright, well, that's it. It's that's over. It. It's over. See you next time for the Oh, whoa extravaganza. See you in 2020. Yeah.